everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from my Amazon review series. This is a requested episode. I was contacted by one of the sellers on Amazon and uh, they asked me to go ahead and review one of their products. This is how I received it. It was, it did come of course in an Amazon box. It comes in a simple brown box. It looks like it says TWOD. It's T-W-O-D. Now let's go ahead and get into it and then I will uh, explain a little bit of a little bit about it and some of the uh, features. So there we go. Pretty pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot in there. Uh, it comes with uh, an Allen wrench here uh, to do some adjusting and then you've got the main piece right here. If you didn't know or hadn't figured it out already, this is a bipod for a, uh, basically for a long gun, for a rifle uh, of some type or anything like that. Uh, it does have uh, the setting for uh, the rail systems like a pick or maybe a weaver rail. Uh, this is a quick release right here. Uh, as, I, as I understand it, I will uh, sit here and kind of figure out how some of this goes together. Now, one thing um, I just noticed is that there didn't, they didn't have any instructions in the box. I mean, literally all there was was these two pieces. So um, may take me a second to figure out how this stuff works. As you can see, this uh, pivots around. Uh, it does have the uh, rubber feet here on the bottom. This is, uh, these are supposed to be aluminum um, legs here. And if I remember right, this is uh, high carbon steel for um, the frame at the top. So let's see if we can get this thing figured out and uh, we can start getting this um, kind of set up and everything. All right, so one thing I know is it's supposed to have this quick, this quick release system. So you take and uh, Pull on the pull on the piece here, and the legs will slide out. And there is your extension. So you go from here, which is supposed to be uh, according to the site um, or the the their Amazon page. Um, this is supposed to be about six and a half inches, and then you've got it where it extends all the way out to a nine inch length. So uh, you know when you're in the prone position shooting, uh, or if you're on a on uh, say maybe a table or something like that, uh, you've got you've got uh, a, a nice range of how far you can uh, have these move. Okay, so I took a quick second to kind of mess with this and see if I could figure it out. And uh, what it is is these legs have uh, obviously this. Well, first off, this will of course attach to the bottom of your uh, long gun rifle, whatever you're using uh, this on. And uh, you know it'll attach, it'll attach uh, straight across there. And uh, to do the quick release on it, you push this little tab down. It kind of clicks out of place. That's how it locks it into position. And then you can take and loosen it up so that uh, you can, of course, slide that in there and get it into the position you need. So once you've got that attached, then you can have it set up. Now this may be in depending on how you set it up. Uh, you of course this would be sideways because of course the gun would be this way. So you have this knob here that you can adjust and uh, turn it to whichever way you want. You can put the uh, release lever on either side and uh, you know, either way it doesn't really matter uh, which way you put it, just whatever's most comfortable for you. And then make sure, and I did notice this on the uh, site, they did say to make sure that you tighten this down uh, very securely and, and you're not going to hurt it uh, tight. I mean this is a pretty decent size It's knurled a little bit so that you can get a good grip on that and that way it's nice and tight So you don't have any pivoting or movement or anything and that way you lock your body down uh, Then this has uh, of course the position here is the legs facing to the rear then you have multiple positions uh, rotating around you can see this uh, almost half a gear looking section right here. There is a push button right here, you push it in and then you can move it to the next position and so set it up to each one. My guess is um, we're looking at roughly this would be a, a zero, zero degree, we'll say that uh, that's roughly what that is. Then you move it down to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 
then you've got 135 and then 180 degrees and of course that 180 degrees you can take it from doing a, a, a rear facing to a front facing all right guys well I went ahead and I grabbed this one here and uh, we'll go ahead and set this up now I know it has the hand grip on it uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now because I don't want to reposition and try and figure it all out here later on uh, since this is just going to be a test for this so we'll go ahead and uh, loosen this up we'll move these to the back okay so I've got this all tightened down um, we'll go ahead and move the legs into position here and that's done just by oh, we didn't want to slide that out yet so we uh, move the legs into position and again you just press the button move it down to where you want it uh, double check make sure that's tight hmm these are tight and it is causing that to twist so I do need to tighten this up a bit more there we go okay all right so now we've got it set up in the bipod mode so there you go uh, obviously you're probably not going to have the grip on there like I said I'm not going to take that off right now for this uh, and then if we want to change this they don't have to go all the way out I'm just extending them all the way out um, just for the purposes of the review uh, it just makes it easy to show how much length you've got on them and uh, there you go there definitely definitely nice to uh, to have lots of room um, yeah this is this is way too high for me to do in a prone position so uh, if I were to, maybe I could uh, take and go halfway, locks into position because there are these little rings um, that are cut out there that are used to lock this down. There we go. And this is a little bit better. This would still probably be a little bit high for me, but you of course can adjust it. I, uh, I would of course, like I said, I would probably have it all the way down for myself. Um, just, uh, just because I, I sit fairly low to the ground but uh, you can then of course change positions here and now maybe you're on a slope of some type but you've got a flat ledge and you're doing a downward um, shot so you know there you go I will say uh, I mean this is this is nice it's solid like I said I just had to tighten up the um, the bolts a little bit and everything and it's uh, it locks in pretty tight and, and everything so I would say that this would be a pretty good uh, pretty good deal um, if you're in need of a bipod uh, for doing some of your shooting you know you might want to check it out if you're doing uh, high-end competition shooting or something like that uh, you know you could check this out um, and uh, you know it may it may work for you uh, otherwise, you know, for for most purposes that you would use a bipod for, I think this would uh, definitely definitely work. I think uh, you know, for longer shots in the uh, western part of the United States, I know you you of course can use uh, rifles and things like that for uh, doing your hunting because you have lots of long flat section out there to um, to uh, do your do your shots. Whereas if you're more east or midwest, uh, there's a lot more mountains, so you don't tend to be able to take longer shots because you know there's lots more hills, there's things that get in the way, and it's actual terrain, not just maybe some some woods or things like that. So that's gonna basically wrap it up for for this. This is uh, of course from uh, TWOD, T-W-O-D. Again, this will be in the description below. Don't forget to hit our social media stuff down there. Uh, also, on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys. I really appreciate it when you do that. And also, there'll be the uh, icon floating here probably about the same time the two videos come up, which will be our subscribe button, or you can hit the regular one. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you know when new videos are coming out. All right, guys. Well, my name is Cougar. This has been another episode from the Amazon Review Series here on World of Me. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.